SOLIDWORKS provides a great deal of flexibility when working with the routing add-in. In this lesson, I'd like to show you a few more options you have when adding components to routes. Here I have a weldment structure, and I've already created a simple pipe route. Don't worry about this for now, you'll see how the pipe route was created a bit later on in the course. I'll right-click somewhere on the route and select Edit Route. First you can split a route by simply dragging and dropping a fitting or a pair of flanges onto the route. I'll open the design library in the SOLIDWORKS task pane and browse the routing component library until I find, for example, a threaded coupling. Then I'll click and drag the coupling onto the route and select Configuration. This splits this single run of pipe into two. You can create a branch line for this pipe route in a similar fashion by dragging and dropping a T onto the route. I'll browse for a T in the routing library and drag it onto the pipe route. I'll again choose a configuration and you can see the branch has been created and added to the route. Next I'll drag and drop a fitting onto this new branch. I'll use a flange. You can drag and drop a fitting directly onto another fitting as well. I'll drag and drop a gasket directly onto this flange. I can add another flange right to the other side of the gasket. And we have a gasket inserted between two flanges on this route with no piping in between. As you can see, routing gives you a great deal of flexibility in how you'd like to add components.